further in my way. Oh, trouble. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. I know it'll get fixed after a while. Uh, that's what I feel like. Um, uh, just knowing what happened at uh, Mar-a-Lago <laughs> yesterday. I can imagine homeboy sitting up there eating some burgers uh, somewhere, um, anywhere. Um, at McDonald's, his private McDonald's someplace in one of his hotels. Or either he was sitting out in one of them big old limousines he got already knew it was going to happen. Who knows? But can you imagine how his funky buck eating them cheeseburgers felt when he saw them in his most precious Mar-a-Lago? I was like, hell no. I'm sorry. Ooh, what a sight, what a sight. Dude got the nerve. Mm -mm. The nerve to start still talking about everything else. He ain't had enough yet. That's how you know this this is the mental house. Okay? He's still going. And this one, this some you know, if this ain't no Jim Jones shit for y'all, y'all don't know what Jim Jones was. See what I'm saying? They go down in flames. They go <laughs> these these perpetual freaking narcissists go down in flames, and you really under, need to understand that. You know, it went too far. That's why, if you ask me, in my humble opinion, when. If you watch the uh, night that Donald Trump won the election, and I'm not the only one because I've seen people hit me up or even in the comment section about it. When he won the presidency, his ass for a split second, everybody around him was jumping up and down, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had his head down like, oh, shit. I done pulled this bullshit off. And I pulled it off. And the camera was on him. He was not happy. And I wish I could find that footage immediately after Donald Trump was declared president. That's why I said all this other shit was just theater to allow him as a distraction with his mental illness. Because everybody can't pull it. Everybody ain't got the um heart to pull that kind of crazy shit that um uh, uh, Donald Trump did in, in terms of resetting the society and all that stuff. Just like when Baby Bush, they, about four presidents before they wanted to get over there and do what they did over there in Iran. But they wouldn't pull it. Clinton wouldn't pull it. Reagan wouldn't pull it. Uh-uh, honey. Uh-uh. It's all so theatrical. But we um we almost are at the verge of watching this empire crumble, and it really hurts me to say that. I'm laughing, but it's the consequence of the madness that was perpetuated. Cause look at him, he's going down. He's going down. <laughs> Cause he. <laughs> He knew it was over, you guys. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. He knew he did that because he, his world was all show business. You know, this dude was on the Fresh Prince. Y'all remember? Hear him and listen. Not this kind of presidential. This modern day craziness. Once 
y'all let this game sh uh, reality show, whatever the hell, you're fired, whatever the hell that was, the minute y'all, <coughs> it just showed you, the, you know, the degradation in our society. And I'm laughing, but I'm really not, because I never thought. That's, that made people run away and leave a whole bunch of them left America. Uh, people in New York. I mean, ain't, he didn't win New York. Listen, everybody knew who Donald Trump was. That's why I know the fix was in. Okay? So, but the thing about it is he did all that uh, stuff and he got drunk off the power because he's a narcissist. And then they allowed him, and when I say they, I'm talking about the crown. You know, if you think the president run this shit, you can keep on thinking. Because they get higher than that. That's them people, the FICA people. I call them. Okay. The, the, the Rothschilds and the, the ones that, you know, as Ralph Efferson said mightily in his book, The uh, Unseen Hand, the ones that fund both sides because they don't give a damn. Either way, they're going to be a winner. And this right here is just the craziest theater. <laughs> Dude said we can have a democracy as long as we can keep it. Donald Trump said it's now or never. He got all this Russian connection, got the nerve to talk about Brittany Griner when his ass in bed with Putin. And what... Anybody in their right mind would be like, why is this happening? It's a fucking script. Why Why would somebody even let allow this to happen in a free, supposedly intelligent society? And don't start talking that freedom of speech shit. Because when black people use their freedom of speech, you already know what happened. Okay, come on now. If, if, if Obama was the pull that crap that he did. Matter of fact, he wouldn't even have got off first base. He wouldn't even... Oh, I, I can't even... He couldn't even hit the ball. Look how they watered down his health care thing. So, listen. This Trump shit is finna get even crazier because he's gonna be the first president to got to jail. He gotta go to jail for all the other lies and stuff he told. And plus, his Nazi... You know, whatever they're going to do with him, you know, he's going to be at a Pepperidge Farm camp. If he sees that part, you know, for a few uh, years. But this happens in other countries. Why not America? Shit. Why not America? Especially the way y'all, the way this, they go, listen. What did um, Farrakhan say? Either we going to go to hell. <laughs> Slowly. With Clint, with uh, Clinton, are we gonna go to hell in a rocket ship with Donald Trump? Y'all tell me what y'all think, okay? Anyway, that's my rant for today. I'll see y'all in the next video.